Hi guys, here from Batumi in the Black Sea. This is Georgia. This is amazing. This is very beautiful here. I don't have the maximum sunlight here. I came a bit late, but I'm fully motivated to show you the beauty of uh, this ancient Soviet uh, legacy building. <laughs> That's maybe not the most impressive, <clears throat> but you have seen already what they can build here. This is even uh, bigger and more impressive than tourists in Albania, but it's a similar concept, a seaside resort here at the Black Sea, and it's a very nice place. I recommend everybody from Europe to come here and to see it, and also to spend some tourist money here, because uh, the Georgians need it very much at the moment. And of course they need EU future. That is what I came for here in Batumi in the year 2021, was this historic meeting of uh, the three presidents of Mrs. Uh, Shurasvi Bili and of course there is already a lot of tourism here even from America I see and of President Zelensky the global superstar of freedom and Slava Ukraine and they met here also with Mrs. Maidu which I admire so much and where there is so much progress now in Moldova these three presidents they came here during the Batumi summer conference on the 19th of July and they were very clear to support EU accession together. And this spirit of Batumi is very important. That's why I created this Austrian accession committee for uh, the three countries to support. And I did my maximum in the last half a year to support the accession and the change of the Austrian policy in that regard. Let's see, on the 23rd we will know. Now there is the EU Commission's recommendation in the Parliament. Actually, Georgia got not the same status as Ukraine and Moldova. They are very clearly pro-European, but here, of course, the country is under pressure from Russia and they have this governing party, which has a lot of links to Russia. I understand that. They also have imprisoned Mr. Shakishvili and also the Sava media director and it's of course wrong. <laughs> I called for that already. Release them. They must be released. That is wrong. Journalists cannot and political activists. <laughs> Who is the next to imprison me? <laughs> uh, no, that's not the way to do it in Europe. And you can sort all out in the legal way and to do this kind of stance from the politics uh, with the justice system is utterly wrong. So that's absolutely the wrong way. But uh, Georgia should not be pushed further towards uh, the uh, Russian uh, side. We need to integrate Georgia and it's a similar case. Actually, it's much worse than what uh, Vucic is doing. When you compare, yesterday I made a lot of Twitter activity, when you compare Ivanishvili with Vucic, I mean, <laughs> Ivanishvili is really a small case. <laughs> compared to what Vucic does, threatening with war, not recognizing Kosovo and doing all these outrageous activities like buying weapons from Russia and also manipulating his population against Europe. Here in Georgia, everybody is for the EU, 82%. So what else we want, huh? Georgia is very much pro-EU, so we should be very happy for that. And that's of course the most important on the bigger picture. Logically, that's the most important. Look, there's the Marriott, to my best knowledge. There was the conference of the, the presidents. Maybe it was in a different hotel. I have to apologize. I'm not perfectly <laughs> prepared, but I have my flags with me and I will see if I can do some installation somewhere. It's not so easy here at the Black Sea to do that, but the spirit of Batumi must be very clear to have all three countries together in the European Union and here a lot of happy tourists and this is a wonderful place. Next, in the summer, maybe there will be again Batumi conference. President Zelensky at war will not be able to physically attend, but I think President uh, Surashvili and Mrs. Maidu, they should come again and then make a video conference here, a video link to also make it very clear that the spirit is unbroken even when Georgia and Moldova have not fully signed all the sanctions. Oh, well, what we have here, horse riding competition. Interesting. A lot of things happening here, which you wouldn't expect. It is a very nice place here. It's a bit cloudy though, 
but you see the Black Sea, the European Sea is there. I was in Mariupol in uh, February before the war, calling for peace. Didn't have so a uh, big effect, but you can see the video still, what I said very clearly that we in Europe should save and protect countries from Russian aggression. And if we had done that from the beginning, when I came to Ukraine, the situation was so clear that we were on a ticking time bomb and we should have from that moment onwards made it very clear for Ukraine to join the European Union because that would have meant safety and also because in my heart I'm not only an economist and a European activist but also a taxpayer representative and imagine how many billions of euros Ukraine's integration would have cost maybe all in all 300 now the war <laughs> the overall economic effects of the war maybe three trillion <laughs> uh, when you make the big count so ultimately we are in a big mess here and the mess is the responsibility of those who have rejected ukraine and georgia and moldova and we shouldn't do that mistake again the lessons of the past must be clear that we yeah in pristina they asked me what to do for wild dogs <laughs> <laughs> when I told them to tax them and to tag them, that's the answer in the short version, <laughs> they were not so pleased. But obviously everything is also financially relevant and the cost of this failure of European politics, of the rejection of Ukraine goes in the trillions. <laughs> and that was of course a huge tragic mistake of the people responsible, Macron, Hollande, Merkel. They have cost us so dearly. Yes, I'm now here at this Marriott. I'm thinking I can check the situation a bit. Where is the right place for installing my flags? I have to find some place to do that. It's not perfectly simple. I don't want to create any attention from the authorities, but I'm trying to make my small declaration here for the future of this beautiful country in the European Union and you have to find the right place for that. Yeah, here it's not possible. Yeah, it's beautiful here. Wow, look at it, the skyscrapers and so much to see. I will head onwards while I still have light to show you all this beauty because I'm a bit outside, I found out. My orientation is not the best at booking.com. <laughs> Maybe I should learn how to do the booking.com better because I'm a little bit in another part, not really in the center. But no matter, I call for EU enlargement and I call for Georgia to be part of it. This is the way we should definitely not reject Georgia and we should actually speed up the EU integration. Thanks a lot, more to come here from this beautiful place and me looking in Batumi for the right location for my Batumi declaration. <laughs> Wish me luck, bye.